Okay, hello year four and welcome to our first RE lesson of this term. Just before I get started on talking you through uh, the lesson today before you start doing your independent learning, just to let you know that if you need to pause the video at any point because you need some more thinking time or you need to uh, copy something from the screen, that's absolutely fine. Please just pause it when you need to and then you can carry on watching the video until the end. When you get to the end, if you need to rewatch it, that's OK, too. Just make sure the first time you pause it when you need it to do your learning or to do some more thinking, you watch it to the end. And then the second time you can skip bits, you can rewind, you can fast forward and you can go back over the bits that you might need. So now that I've talked you through that, let's get started on lesson one. Question, what is important in your life? So to be successful today, you need to make sure you can show these three things. You can understand important aspects of your life. You can explain why different aspects are important in your life. You can describe important aspects in a Hindu person's life. And the challenge for you today is to suggest similarities and differences between the life of a Hindu child and the life of a child from another religion or from a child who is non-religious. So we're going to start by doing our knowing more and remembering more. Can you please just write down one, two, three and four on the left hand side of a piece of paper if you have it, ready to write down your answers. Remember, you just need to write the words true or false or write the word that is missing. You do not need to write the whole sentence for me today. Question one, marriage ceremonies can be different according to each religion. So next number one, write true or false. Question number two, in a life journey, there are n and n milestones. What are those two missing words? One begins with an R, one begins with an S. Question three, how many gods do Jews believe in? One, none or four? And question four, for what religion is the Torah the holy book? Okay, once you've done those, get yourself a different colour pen or pencil and get ready to tick and fix. This might be a good time to pause it if you need some more thinking time. Here come the answers. True, marriage ceremonies can be different according to each religion. Number question two, in a life journey, there are religious and secular milestones. Now, I will give out hub points to anybody who can give me an example of a religious and or a secular milestone. Next time you have a live lesson with your teachers, pop it in the chat, let them know, and they can tell me what answers you came up with, and I can give you some hub points. Question three, how many gods do Jews believe in? It is one. And question four, the Torah is the holy book of Judaism. So again, if you got an answer correct, please fix it because that helps us remember in the future. I would certainly recommend it for question two. If you didn't quite get that correct, to think back to our learning before Christmas and thinking about the difference between a secular and a religious milestone. Think about what we were talking about when we thought about journeys and events that might happen in our lives. So here is our knowledge organiser. So when we're thinking about our vocabulary, you can see the red box around it. We're thinking about Hinduism. And Hinduism is an Indian religion or Dharma, which means the way of life. And it is the world's third largest religion with over one and a quarter billion followers, which is about 15 or 16 percent of the population of the world. Pretty impressive. There's a lot of people who follow Hinduism around the world. And I've already introduced you to this question that we are thinking about how do Hindus show their faith? So let's get started and let's go back over our vocabulary. So words that you know. So we'll do my turn, your turn. Again, once I've said the word, it would be great if you can say the word after me because that helps us remember the vocabulary. So my turn, your turn. Journey. 
ceremony. Well done. And again, the same thing for words that we're going to meet in today's learning. Hinduism, deities, puja. Well done for joining in. So let's get started by thinking about things that are important to you. So I'm going to give you a, just a couple of examples of things that are important to me. And I want you to be thinking about the questions at the bottom. So why am I telling you about certain items? What could it represent? Or could it represent something else? So for example, if I share with you that something that's important to Mr. Church is the rosary beads I bought when I went on holiday to Rome 10 years ago. So rosary beads, if you haven't seen them before, it's a chain with a cross on it and there are little beads on the necklace. Um, and I want you to think about why have I shared that with you? Why are the rosary beads important to me? What do you think it could represent? Okay, so I've given you some time to think. So for me, the rosary beads are important, actually not because I'm religious, but because it was the first holiday I went on after I'd moved to London. So it has strong memories for me. So although I may not be religious and it may not be for a religious reason, the rosary beads are important to me because they remind me of a special event in my life. Okay, I'm gonna give you one more and then you're gonna do some thinking about things that are important to you. So something else that's important to Mr. Church is his degree certificate. So the piece of paper that says on it that Mr. Church is a qualified teacher. Why is that important to me? What do you think that represents? What does that tell you about me as a person, perhaps? You can say your answers back to, the, to me on the screen. OK, well done. Thank you for sharing your ideas. So I've shared two with you. So one was a physical thing. It was the rosary beads that I got when I went on holiday because that was an important time for me. First time I'd moved to London, first big holiday. And then the second one was my certificate, my piece of paper that says, Mr. Church, you are a qualified teacher. Now it's your turn. You can do this on a piece of paper. And I know it looks like a jigsaw puzzle with four pieces, but you can do this however you want to. So write or draw four special things that are important to you. And I want you to think about how do these things represent you? How do they, what does it, what is it that they tell you about, tell us about you? Now, if we were in school, we're thinking about your partner and your friends in your classroom. And if you've got anything that is the same or different, but you can certainly be thinking about the ones I shared with you. And do you have things that are similar to me? Do you have things that are, um, the same or the same or different to me so it could be that you have you belong to a religion you have certain faiths and beliefs and you have things that are different or the same but have different values so the rosary with the, the cross on it might have different meaning to you might be different for you might be um have a different meaning to you than it does to me this might be a good time to pause the video while you complete this task Okay, so now we're going to think about what is important for two British Hindu children. We're going to look at Simran and we're going to look at Raj as well. And once we've watched the video, you are going to create a piece, a four piece jigsaw puzzle. Just like that one that you did earlier to represent the things that are important to either of those. So. Okay, so this is the video for you to be thinking about things that are important to the two children. Let's get to it. Hi, I'm Simran, and this is my brother Raj. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm 14, and my religion is Hinduism. There you go. Then... My hobbies are music and photography. Smile. I also love playing with my brother. 
Raj is 11 and his favorite hobby is Taekwondo. We're vegetarian. This food looks a bit tasty. It's a big part of being Hindu. We believe God exists in everything, so it's important to respect all living things. It's really fun being vegetarian because all those dishes, they're so tasty and the spices are nice. For dinner, we're having pani puri. Mm -hmm. You dip it in the mint, then you get some amli, and then... And then you give it to your sister to eat. Hindus believe life is a cycle of birth, death, and rebirth, and every action we make has an effect, called karma. This means how I live now will impact how I live in my next life on Earth. If I'm really good, I hope to be freed from the cycle of rebirth and become one with God. Hindus believe in one God, who exists in everything. It's quite confusing. To help us understand, names, images, and qualities are given to millions of gods and goddesses. This makes it easier for me to think about God and helps me focus during worship. Okay, so we've just watched the video about those two children who are brother and sister, and you saw lots of things in there. They told you about lots of things that are important to them, hobbies and things they do, and also things about their religion. So what I would like you to do now is create a four piece jigsaw, just like this one, to represent things that you think are important to either of them. So you can do Simran or you can do Vraj. I don't mind who you do, but have a think about what you might include on your four piece jigsaw for either of them. Okay, I'm going to pause. So this might be a good time to pause the video while you complete that. If you want to re-watch the video, you've either got the link up here that you can go to, or you can just rewind the video a little bit that I've, I've made for you, and you can watch it then. Okay, once you've done your jigsaw about either of those children, you've now got two. You've got your jigsaw and you've got theirs. So what would be really good now is to start thinking about what is the same? What have you got that's the same between you and either of those children who um, are Hindu? What is different? Or you might like to really challenge yourself to think about somebody else. Is there a different religion? Is there somebody that you know that has a different religion? And can you compare those? So make a list of the things that are the same and different between the life of a Hindu child and the life of a child from another religion. Again, you might want to pause the video here whilst you complete this activity before we move on. Okay, so just to take us into our next learning, how do Hindus show their faith? So we're learning about important aspects of your life so that you can relate this to important aspects of a Hindu person's life so that we can make that connection. We're also going to be learning about reflecting on the significance of important parts of a person's life and demonstrating how religion can impact people's lives.